What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Hydreigon meta team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to this team right here, like I said, it is full of meta Pokemon. And I feel like I've been rocking out with a bunch of off meta Pokemon. So I feel like it's time for me to bring you guys a nice little meta squad to help you guys push high ranks in the master tier. But like I said, Hydreigon is going to be the main focus of today's team just because I haven't used this Pokemon in a while, and I absolutely love it. It's got Levitate, it's got Assault Vest as item, rocking out with the Ghost Terror type with Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, Snarl, and Heat Wave. So it has two very good stab moves. It's got Snarl for special attack drops, and it actually does decent damage due to its stab typing. And last but not least, Heat Wave for coverage. You gotta love it. Another Dragon type on today's team is Guard Chomp. Not just any Guard Chomp, Life Orb Guard Chomp. It's got Rough Skin as its ability, rocking the Ground Terror type, with Dragon Claw, EQ, Stomping Tantrum, and Protect. So honestly, with EQ, you can actually pair it up next to Hydreigon, so at Double Dragon, freely send it because Hydreigon has Levitate, and that combo actually works rather well because they're both pretty fast Pokemon in this format, and they can do both big time damage at the same time. So Double Dragon, I really do like it. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Talonflame, Amoongus, Sneasler, and Gyarados. Talonflame is going to be a good Tailwind setter, alongside with being a good physical attacker because it actually does do good damage. Amoongus, great support Pokemon. I don't really think I need to talk about it too much. It can Spore, it can Clear Smog, it can Range Powder. Sneasler, another good physical attacker with Fake Out. Then Gyarados, a great Intimidate user that can also be a speedy physical attacker due to the move Dragon Dance. So I can set up that speed and attack boost and have Gyarados thrive out from there. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, rocking out with Hydreigon in ranked regulation H. So, guys, we're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against a Trick Room team right here. They got Hisui and Logan and Torkoal, a very strong combo, which actually annoys me to go up against. They're also rocking out with Indeedee. They got Hisui and Typhlosion, Arm Rouge, and last but not least, Golden Ghost. So, a few different combos and a few different Pokemon that they could lead. Um, for me, I think going into maybe like Hydreigon here could be really good for us just because it not only resists fire moves, but it also has Snarl and it can do great damage and it has the Assault Vest. So going into Hydreigon is a great call for me. A lot of different special attackers. I do like it. So we'll go into Hydreigon. I could lead maybe Sneasel just for fake out, but if they do end up going into like Arm Rouge and ATD, that could be a slight issue. I could go into Garchomp. Might go into Garchomp. I'm thinking of going into Garchomp. And I am going to go into Garchomp. <laughs> so Garchomp Double Dragon with Hydreigon is going to be our lead. Um, In the back end, what could good Pokemon be? Maybe Amoongus if they want to pop Trick Room. There is a chance that they do pop Trick Room. So I mean, Amoongus could be that Pokemon. Could definitely be that Pokemon. So yeah, I am going to end up bringing Amoongus. And then another physical attacker could be Gyarados. It could be Talonflame, especially with the Sun set up. Or I could just go into Sneasel with the Focus Ash. I feel like Sneasel just always works wonders. And it could be really good. We got Dark Hello Close Combat. Toaching. I don't know, man. I think we're going to have to go, go for it anyway. That's what I'm going to do. I just kind of have to watch out for this, uh, that Golden Go. I feel like Golden Go just, like, resists so much, so many different moves. But, I mean, I do have Hydreigon, but if I lose Hydreigon early, we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out here. But, yeah, Golden Go is the real deal. It definitely is. Now, they could go low again. They could go to work on If that's the call, I'm just going to protect my guard job and probably snarl. And they are going to end up going into this, which I don't really mind too much. Um, yeah, I mean, you could definitely go for the after you call. And I do believe that it is going to be a nice little snarl call, call for us. Snarl into protect. I could honestly EQ, but there's a chance that they just go after guard chomp. After seeing, you know, the ground type just staring them in the face. But I don't know if they go for after you or sleep pattern. I feel like they can go for either or. I feel like they could definitely go for either or. So we got the double dragon types out here. Garchomp's gonna protect, and Torkoal's gonna protect. So it does look like you're going for Sleep Powder. Can you Sleep Powder my Garchomp? Hopefully. Then you go for Triple Axle in Garchomp. Okay, that's something we gotta watch out for. That is looking a tad scary for me. That is something I do not like. So Snarl's going to launch. Triple Axle definitely looking terrifying. And the question is, do I go for Terra here? Triple Axle, I don't think it's going to KO if we take away our... Mm, but mm, but after you, that's looking terrifying. After you is looking scary. Um, Could end up hard swapping here and just using Focus Sash. That's not bad. But there is a chance now the Triple Axle flies. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to go Draco Meteor here. 
Actually, we're gonna go Heat Wave because Heat Wave should KO. I don't really want to lose my special attack. We're gonna go Heat Wave here. I'm gonna Ground Terror and just launch into Q. I'm gonna Ground Terror. Oh man, I wonder what they're gonna do here. This is scary because if they go for the Air for You combo, that means Garchomp's dead. That means Garchomp just dies out if they go for Air for You. If they end up going for Triple Axe, I think Garchomp can survive this. So I'm really hoping it does. And then we can just rip up with our Heat Wave and EQ. He's gonna go for close combat. All right, that's fine. I mean, you die out here, but at least I get off this EQ, so that's good news. So he switches to close combat. We have Ground Terror EQ flying. So Torkoal, most likely dead here, right? Life Orb, Stab, Terra Boosted, EQ. Torkoal should be dead here, super effective. Well, survives, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. I stand corrected and Eruption's gonna fly, but I'm able to soak this, no problem. Negative five damage. All right. So I got fake out and I can actually send it into the, uh, I can actually send it into the, the Logan slot to, for KO. Unless it protects, but you know, we're still just going to send fake out here. I'm going to go fake out and I'm thinking I'm just going to Dragon Call or do I go for Stomping I think Stomping Tantrum is going to be the play of the Torkoal. The reason I say Stomping Tantrum is because like it, you're going to swap. I mean, he's going to swap into Typhlosion, Armor Rouge, Goldigo, all super effective with Stop and Catch him. So I'm just going to send it here. Hopefully you don't protect Logan. I really just want to KO that thing with Fake Out. You could go into Indeedee. You could definitely go into Indeedee, and that could be a little rough on our end. You could definitely swap into Indeedee here. You're just going to protect the Torkoal. So Torkoal gets to protect. Can Fake Out pick up the KO? Or are you double protecting? You don't. Fake Out KO? Fake Out KO. That's pristine. That's pristine. We love to see that. Getting rid of Logan's just like top tier for us. It really is. When you get rid of Logan's, it's just so good. The side attack is going to get blocked. This Torkoal's kind of in like a little pickle now where it's like, okay, Trick Room's not set up. All this good stuff. And I'm kind of not worried about this. Uh, why is there a fly? Yo, there's a fly just going around, causing problems while I'm trying to battle and record. Hopefully you guys seen it just flying around my face cam. It's, it's still here. Oh my God, dude, this thing's about to get Jackie Chan. You ever see, uh, what is that? Uh, what's that movie? A uh, Karate Kid, where he uh, flicks the cap at the kid. Yeah, that's what he's about to get. He's about to get Jackie Chan. But just watch it, bop, just get it on out my face. All right, but back to the action. They went in with Golden Go. Um, EQ could still rip. I could use my Focus Ash on the Sneasler. I could indeed use the Focus Ash on the Sneasler. But from here, honestly, I'm just gonna go Dire Claw, and I am just gonna go into a stopping catch in the slot. Let's see how much damage we can do. It could be Steel Terror, and he's just gonna outspeed us straight up. He's just gonna straight up outspeed us, which is kind of crazy. You choice? Look, you gotta be choice. That's definitely choice scarf. But Dire Call is gonna pick up the KO onto Torkoal. Sopping Tantrum should connect. Hopefully, it lands, and it does. That is beautiful. We love to see that. And this should say bye bye to Golden Go. See you later, pal. Get on out my game. Get on out my game. Garchomp going to town. He's going to town. He's going to town. Now it's down to a nice little 2v1 situation, and we're sitting good. We actually have an, another Pokemon in the back end as well with Amoongus. Could maybe hard swap into Amoongus. I still have Focus Ash, which is good. Actually, I don't. Um, question is, do you outspeed me? We might lose this. We might lose this game. We might lose this game. No, you gotta be faster. You might even be faster. It's not looking good for us. We'll do this, and I think I'll just protect. I'm gonna protect Garchomp. See what he ends up doing. I'm kinda, I'm kinda curious to see the speed. It seems like Golden Go is choice. So that means you can't be choice. And yeah, Sneezer's gonna outspeed. Can I put you to sleep with this? That'd be beautiful. Just make life easy for me. And a crit. Show me night nights. Paralyzed. That that's great. Okay, Garchomp can out outspeed. <laughs> All right, cool. We should win this game. We should win this game. So eruption is gonna fire. We protect it. Paralyzed. Definitely coming up clutch. I'm not sure if you were outspeeding Garchomp. I wish this was like uh, what was it? Sword and Shield when you can see your opponent's team. I thought that was such a cool th feature that they had. But this game you just can't. It's just they they took it away. And it was such a dope feature because like after match you could be like okay. I want to see what that was. I want to see how I lost that. I want to see all the stats. And you could see it. And it was pretty cool. 
But from here, I oh, I can't even put you to sleep. I guess I'll go for a pollen puff. But I'll go for pollen puff. And you know what? I'm just gonna send EQ. They still have Terra, don't they? Hold up. Do they still have Terra? They do still have Terra. I feel like you gotta be fire Terra. I'm gonna rip an EQ. I don't wanna lose the accuracy. Actually, stop attention 100 accuracy. I'm just gonna go for stop attention. And we're out to speed now. Alright, cool. Good game. Thanks for playing. So they end up not using Terra this game. That's totally fine. Everything worked out perfectly. And your boy ended up taking match number one. So the double dragon lead works perfectly, like I've been saying. And we take match number one. One and oh to get this video started. Moving on to our second match. And we're going up against such a dope team. Meow Skirana, Cleavor, Cerule Edge. Cerule Edge, one of my favorite Pokemons. Actually, of all time now. I really like that Pokemon. But it's definitely my favorite Pokemon from Generation 9. It's just so dope. But they also have Golden Go. They got Ursaluna and Sneasler. So I feel like Ursaluna is kind of only here for Trick Room. So I don't think they're going to be bringing it in here. Um, for our lead, we could honestly just go into like Garchomp and Hydreigon again. We could do that. Or I could go into Gyarados. I mean, Gyarados actually looks pretty good here. So yeah, I'm going to go Gyarados. And I'm also going to lead it with hmm, Hydreigon. Or we could just go Talonflame and get a lot of speed going here. Yeah, let's go Gyarados, uh, Talonflame. Or we could go Sneezy. Fake out, get D-Dance set up. I want that. I want that. I want that. We'll do that. We'll go Hydreigon. As our third Pokemon. Last but not least, it's between Garchomp or Talonflame. And honestly, they're both pretty solid here. Um, but who do I want? I feel like Garchomp might have to take the cake there. Actually, no. Let's go Talonflame. We used Garchomp in the last match. We actually dominated with Garchomp in the last match. But I, I do like Talonflame here. I feel like the, the, uh, the fact that you got Tailwind, you're fast with fire moves, and you got flying moves. It's just a great Pokemon all around. It really is. So I'm going to end up going Talonflame. Even though Garchomp's just a dog. Garchomp's just a dog. But to be honest, guys, I used to collect Pokemon cards back when I was really young. And I stopped like everybody else does when they start growing up. But um, I want to get back into it. I've been seeing like the new uh, the new packs and the new cards. And the secret arts look absolutely amazing. So I think I'm going to get back into it. I might do pack openings on the channel. I think that would be cool. But I might just start buying singles instead because I heard that's the way to go. Like instead of just like testing your luck on the pack market, that just buying singles and getting them graded is, is the way to go. But at the same time, like buying the packs and opening them is is all the fun, you know? So let me know what you guys think. You guys think I should do pack openings on the channel? I think that'd be very cool. But we end up intimidating this Miascarada, which is great news. Um, D-Dance could be a solid call for us, which I am going to do. And honestly, I am just going to coach this bad boy up as well. I want that speed boost. I could fake out. Let's fake out first. Just so if Miyashirai is going to stay in here, we could just kind of keep it that way. So yeah, it's going to be my play. Nice little D-Dance into a fake out this turn. Miyashirai could suck a punch, but not this turn. We're faking it out. I mean, it's intimidated, which is great news. And we're going to end up seeing an early terror type. Is this going to be Golden Go? Who's, who's Terrasa? Miyashirai, please don't be Ghost. It is Ghost. That's a good call on his end. That's a great call. Can he attack my Sneasler at least? <laughs> Can he please attack my Sneasler? I want to get the, get off this Dragon Dance. So Fake Out, going to do absolutely nothing. Great Terror on their part. Knockoff's going to fly here. And you're going to take off my Clear Emmet and do some nice damage. E. We don't like that. Dragon Dance going to fly. And are you dropping to make it rain? I have a feeling you are. You got Thunderbolt. What's the point of going for Knockoff then? What was the point of going for knockoff? That legit did nothing. It absolutely did nothing. But now you're ghost type. Honestly, Hydreigon coming in hot here. Hydreigon coming in hot here. So we lose Gyarados. Kind of sucks here. But, I mean, it is what it is. Now we can rip Snarls for free. And at the same time, I could coach it up for defensive boost. They have a lot of physical attackers. They kind of do. They definitely do have a lot of physical attackers. I might coach them up. Definitely want to go for Snarl. Um, let's swap into Talonflame. So I feel like they're going to swap too. Yeah, we're going to swap into Talonflame. Save our Focus Hash Sneasler. They definitely come up clutch, especially with Fake Out later. But Snarl's going to do big time damage. Let's be honest here. It would suck if you're going for Thunderbolt into the Sneezer slot. But I feel like you're looking at this Hydreigon like, hey, this thing's got to go. <laughs> this thing's definitely got to go. I'm going to swap in my Talonflame. Let's get it cooking. I'm going to U-turn pivot out of here. 
That's fine. You turned us some damage. And you'll probably go into a physical attacker. That we can just outspeed next turn, which is good news. Let's see. He got. So they don't have Terra anymore, which is great news. Golden Ghost Ceremony in the face. Ursa, Ursa Luna comes out here. Wow, I wasn't expecting to bring out Ursa Luna. But still, Snarl actually works wonders. It's going to lower that thing's special attack. So cool. Nice damage chunk with Snarl. And Shadow Ball is going to launch, which you should be able to send through. So you're not choice. You just have a choice moveset, pretty much. Um, from here... Oh, we're just going to rip a Dark Pulse there. And did we just... Warblitz or Dual Wing Beat? I really don't want to lose a lot of recoil, so I'm just going to stick with the wing beat here. Um, Ursaluna could protect. He could go for normal moves. He can't go for ground moves into any of my Pokemon, which is great news. But yeah, I'm just going to rip a Dark Pulse. Definitely my play call. You are minus one what's from Snarl. I could have just went into Flare Blitz and a Golden Go. But I just think Dark Pulse is definitely the play. Just get rid of it. Dueling Beat going to fly here. Dude, I probably should have Flare Blitz. Oh, you got Rocky Helmet too. Wait, why do you got Rocky Helmet? Why do you have Rocky Helmet? That's just such an odd thing to use. Such an odd thing to use. Dark Pulse gonna launch. We're gonna say bye bye to Golden Go. Wow, it survived. It really just survived that. It really just survived that. And now we're probably gonna get double KO because Blood Moon's launching. No shot, you just survived that. No shot. Earth Power. Alright, guess what? I mean, what are you using Earth Power for? Makes no sense. Guess they didn't know I was levitated. That actually helps us out tremendously. So now I get to go back into you. Um, they could hard swap into. Uh, they could end up hard swapping into Ursaluna, or not Ursaluna, Meowskarada, but Snarl's definitely going to be played because we outspeed. And we could fake out, but I'm just going to Dire Claw. No, we're just going to close combat. I think we just have to play it smart. You swap into Meowskarada, no big deal, whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go for close combat. I still focus actually. Close combat was the right call. Bye-bye, Ursaluna. We're sitting in a decent position here to actually win this game. I still focus Ash. They could sucker punch me. Rocky helmet. I don't have focus dash anymore. I hate this Rocky helmet. This Rocky helmet sucks. I still have Terra. Actually, no, I don't. Actually, yes, I do. Do I? I don't know. I gotta look at this. I gotta look. I think I have it. I didn't use it on my Gyarados. My Gyarados got absolutely dumped on. Um. Yeah, no, I should still have Terra. If I want to use it. I like her typing right now, though. I do like her typing. So, the Force to go back into Miyashkarada. We know it has U-Turn. We know it has Sucker Punch, probably. And they got Cleaver as one of their final Pokemon. So, Heat Wave could work good. Um, yeah, I still do have Terra. The Rock moves are looking a little scary. Um, I kind of just want to double down to Miyashkarada. In all seriousness. Because what could Cleaver do? It could have a Bug Move. Do I Terrestrialize and Ghost here? I don't think you sucker punch me. I really don't think you sucker punch this slot. I'm gonna thrash slice him. I'm gonna double down. I'm doubling down with Dire Claw. I might hit this Ghost Terror. There's no way you sucker punch the Hydro. There's just no shot. I just don't believe you're doing it. I really don't. I'd be so upset. I'd be so upset if you just, for some reason, sucker punch in this Hydra slot. I'd be more than upset. Dire Claw launches. Let's put you to sleep or paralyze something. Give me something. That works. That works. Nighty night. Nighty night, Miascarada. Now you're asleep. And now my Hydra says bye bye to you because it should outspeed the cleaver. It does. Awesome. Bye bye, Miascarada. Yep. And now, cleaver, what are you doing? You ripping an X scissor here? What you got? What you got here? What you got for me? X scissor into this slot. Wow. What'd you think I was protecting? I don't know. That works fine. That works fine. That's pretty much GG's. I could rip a Draco Meteor, but that would be a dumb play. We're going to go close combat. We're going to go Dark Pulse. 100 accuracy moves. Close combat should half it. A little bit more than half in Dark Pulse is going to finish this match up. Thanks for playing. Thanks for coming out. Hopefully you watch this video later. That's how it's done. 2 and 0 to get, get this video started. Let's go hop to our third and final. Look for a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys, and they got Haxorus. Such a dope Pokemon. Hopefully, Garchomp, Hydreigon, and Haxorus 
are all on the field at the same time. And honestly, Ninetales is scaring me. Ninetales is scaring me. Such a good Pokemon. Such a fast Pokemon. Hits like a truck too with its ice moves. So that's something we got to watch out for. I could end up just going into like Gyarados here. The problem is you have Freeze Dry. Man. I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, I could go Sneasler alongside with Talonflame. That's not a bad lead for us. I think that is going to be our lead. So we're going to go Sneasler. We're going to go Talonflame. Um, in the back end, we go Garchomp Hydreigon just so we can have the double dragon. Or do I go in with Gyarados? Because I actually kind of like Gyarados here. I feel like Gyarados has a lot of value. And yeah, I'm going to end up going Gyarados. So we'll go Gyarados um, and Hydreigon. I feel like Hydreigon is going to be a tad bit better in this matchup. So I like it. I like it, especially with Levitate. Levitate works wonders. It does work wonders. All right, let's see how this one plays out. We're 2-0. Like I said in the last match, I want this perfect record. Hopefully we can get it. It'd be nice, but again, Ninetales is really scaring, scaring the situation. I could honestly taunt it right off the rip. Talonflame should outspeed. That could be good because I don't like Aurora Bell. I mean, who likes Aurora Bell? Let's be honest here. <laughs> but I could taunt it right off the rip. And that could be a pretty good call for us. Just taunt it, allow Aurora Bell not to set up. And they're not even going to go into it. They're just going to go Quackle Ball and Talonflame. All right. I see you. I understand. I mean, faking out the Quackle Ball, probably your play. And probably setting up a Tailwind here. I like it. I like it because I think if we can just fake this thing out, get off a, a Tailwind, and then just outspeed the Quackle Ball next turn. I'm just going to detect. That's fine. Then we can just do Wing Beat it. So fake out couldn't get blocked. What are you going for, Talonflame? What you got cooking here? What does he have cooking here? I mean, my Tailwind came out first. Are you going for Tailwind? You are, so... Either that was a speed tie, or we're just straight up outspeeding you. But now I can just go for Dual Wing Beat and attack you straight up. And honestly, just double down the Quack Ball. Even though flying moves could do me dirty here. I have Focus Ash, though. And then I can Unburden Pop. Alright, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with doubling down the Quack Ball. Get after this bad boy. Attack the duck. Kick this duck in the face. Hit him. Get him. Beat him up. Get him. <laughs> We're just going to jump Quackle Ball here. Get him. Kick him on the ground. <laughs> Beat him up. <laughs> but I think it's going to be Quackle Ball. He's going to trash us. We are going for Dire Claw. So what typing you got rocking here? Oh my lord. The most perfect typing. Dang, we just jumped this quack of all, and he just knew everything to beat us up here. He's just reversed this on me. Oh my lord, the most perfect typing. Dire Claw gonna do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And Flare Blitz gonna launch here. Sneasler doesn't even use Focus Ash either. Really hurts his soul. Quack of all, what are you going for? What are you going for, Quacksy? You take it out. Pick your poison. Wave crash. Bye bye, Talonflame. Oh my lord, the most perfect terror. All I wanted to do was jump the duck. I wanted to beat him up. Really wanted to give him the business. Really wanted to give him business. He's now Moxie boosted, but I could definitely intimidate. Yeah, we're gonna intimidate here. Nice little intimidante. I'm gonna intimidate. He's gonna take out my Sneasler. Um, who do I take out here? I think I might just take out the Quackle Ball. You go for a D dance. I think I'll take this trade all day. I think Quackle Ball needs to be the one to go. I'm gonna take out Quackle Ball. Um, I'm cool with just trying to dire claw this town flame. I'm cool with losing my Sneedler, so I could have swapped out. Honestly, I could have done that, but I just, I just think sacrificing our, our what's called is probably better for us. Our Sneedler and having Gyarados and Hydreigon try to win us this game. He's gonna end up withdrawing Quackle Ball. So Quackle Ball with the withdrawal here. Golden Ghost is going to come out here and take this uh, waterfall. Very nice. Very good. And Brave Bird's going to launch. Very nice. All right. Cool. So the Sneeze are gone. I got Hydreigon on the field, which is great news, especially for Golden Ghost. Because they already used their Terra. And waterfall launches. Great damage. With a crit? With a crit? Sheesh. With a crit? With a crit? We like that. All right. So, the problem with Golden Go here is, you could learn Thunderbolt. This Hydreigon outspeed, though. It should. It should, honestly. Because I'm thinking of just snarling this slot. You should outspeed Golden Go. 
I don't want to use my terror just yet. I'm honestly thinking of Dragon Dance in here. Dragon Dance and Dark Pulse? I'm so with it. Dragon Dance, Dark Pulse all day. All day long. All day long. We're looking to set up the characters for victory. For success. So we can win this match. Set them up. No withdrawal talent flame. So you could call on Aaron. The talent flame with the withdrawal. And you're back in the quacky quacks. Back into the quacksters. Protect from the golden goat. It's all good. This turn is still gorgeous. With a dragon dance. I'll take a D dance all day. Get dancing. Put on the, your, your tap shoes, Gyarados. Because you're going dancing, baby. Nice little D dance pops off. Plus one speed, plus one attack. We love that. Um, Kind of got to pick a poison here. Tailwind's gone. Both sides are gone. And they still have one more Pokemon besides Talonflame. Now, could be Haxorus. Most likely Haxorus, after looking at that. And from here, I can just... Hmm... I think I'd rather switch this up now, go here, and then Dark Pulse this slot. Because both of them should be able to KO. Let's be honest here. Quack of all, honestly, outspeeds. I should have Terrasilized, because I used to move I should have Terrasilized. What am I doing? What am I doing? I just... I think I just lost this match. I think I just made a dumb, dumb idiot play. I should have KO'd the Quack of all. I should have KO'd the Quack of all, because now he's just going to close combat me. Now he's just going to close combat me, you know, and, and I made a mistake. I should have... Oh, no, I outspeed. This should KO. It does. All right, never mind. I take back all the statements I made about myself. I'm not no dumb, dumb, gum, gum. Jeans is just the man. The man. But yeah, I should have went with Gyarados because I knew what Gyarados would outspeed. Because if Quack of All outsped there, he was just going to close combat by Hydrogon. And that would have been night, night. That would have been night, night. Hopefully my uh, Talonflame outspeed. Or not my Talonflame. Hopefully my uh, Gyarados outspeeds a Talonflame. So you just get rid of it. But the ice moves, the ice Pokemon right here, not looking good. Definitely want to go for Waterfall here. And now I'm going to use my Terrasilization. And I think I'm just going to snarl away. I think I'm just going to snarl away. I'd rather drop this uh, this Ninetales special attack. Because if it sets up a Roar Veil, we really don't want to just sitting behind a Roar Veil just soaking up shots. So yeah, Terrasilization on the Hydreigon now. It's a perfect time. And... Talonflame doesn't have Gale Wings, which is great, so it can't just set up Tailwind and have full speed control. So honestly, Gyarados should be fast on the field. I wouldn't be surprised if Talonflame does outspeed it, but Gyarados being plus one is really nice. And hit that Terror button. Ghost Terror from the Hydreigon. Get it, Hydreigon. Waterfall is going to launch. Bye bye, Talonflame. Thanks for playing. That pretty much wraps up the game. Unless maybe a free shot. This could, hold up. This match ain't over yet. Moonblast. All right, Moonblast in this slot. Totally fine. You don't got freeze try? Maybe you thought I was trash-slicing. I don't know. I don't know. Snarl comes out here. Drops a special attack. And now I can say that's that's the ball game. I can just go into a nice little waterfall here. And I can rip a heat wave. So thanks for playing. 3-0 perfect record on channel. Waterfall gonna finish this with one off. It does not. Heat wave to back it up. Go for Blizzard. If you double freeze me, I'll cry. No, you don't. Heat wave lands. Thanks for playing. 3-0 perfect record for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, 3-0 perfect record with this meta squad. We basically had three dragons in today's video, Garchomp, Hydreigon, and Gyarados, but let's be honest here, Gyarados isn't actually a dragon type, but it's a dragon. Let's all be honest. It's a dragon. But the team was phenomenal. Garchomp, Hydreigon doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Talonflame, a great support Pokemon. We didn't get to use Amoongus today, but we also had Sneasler, who Sneasler is just phenomenal in this format. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.